Today we're going to do the install of GNS SDR. It's a software defined radio. It's a, it's a software radio, not software defined radio, that uh, processes various types of satellite data, including uh, GPS data. And so there's some problems in getting it to install on Mac OS High Sierra. And so I'm going to do it here to, to show how to work around all the problems. And so the first thing you do is you install this GR OS MOSDR. And uh, I'll issue that command. And since I've already done the install, it happens very quickly. And uh, the next thing you do is you do the install on the G. NSSDR. And so I'll issue that command. And I've done that before. And so it goes pretty quickly through to the place where it hangs. So the install of the GNSSDR uh, uh, gets down to some of the final steps. And then it, it, uh, it hangs and it, it doesn't go any further. And so that should be happening pretty soon now. Oh, okay, there it is. So what happens is you can tell it's hung when it sits here on GNU Plot App. So if you look, look in the terminal down here, GNU Plot App is sitting here, and it's not doing anything, and it just sits here forever. So I'll uh, go up here and, and break, uh, do a Control-C to break the install. And then I'll do an uninstall of it to get it out of the way. And that's done the uninstall. And now what you do is you, if we go over here to this other window, here's the steps you do. You clone from the uh, GNS website uh, to your Mac. And then you uh, go into the subdirectory. I've already done some of this. So I'm, I, I'm in the subdirectory now, build. And then you do this glit uh, checkout next. And it says it's already up to date. And then you do this CMake. And you do the CMake with an uh, CMake prefix, install prefix of, of uh, op-local. And so I can issue that command again. And it actually goes through and does most of the stuff. And you can see here, it's popped up the GNU plot window for unknown reasons. but. Uh, this time it doesn't hang. And so then you can issue a, a make, and I'll issue make on this again. Hopefully it'll go quickly since I've done it before. Yeah, all right, so it does it quickly. And it turns out you have to issue it twice because it hangs, it breaks halfway through the first make. And so you issue a, a make on it twice, and as I did here, and if you're doing it the first time, you'd have to issue it twice. And then the final step is to do the, uh, the make install of the program. And so I'll go over here and issue a make install. And it goes through and checks to see that everything's built. And then it'll go and uh, hopefully do the install. All right, so it did the install. And so now I've got the uh, GNS SDR installed on the computer. And I've downloaded one of the examples from their website. And this is, this is an example of, of uh, of uh, reading the um, SDR data from a file and uh, processing it. And so if we go up here, ah, I, I did it a while ago. OK, so here, here's the command. You give a GNS SDR, and then you point it at the uh, appropriate file. Oh, got to do a rehash because I just built it. And there we have it. So it's now GNS SDR is taking this file that was saved by a uh, software-defined radio to the, 
to the hard drive and it's processing the, the uh, information. And so it's, it's, as it's processing the information from the satellites, it's printing out the various, here it's, here it's picked up the location, the location uh, that you're at. And so um, after it's done processing the data, which doesn't take too long here. Uh, it's a minute and 40 some seconds. Uh, okay, so there it's done processing the data. And if you look, there's a KML file here. And the KML file you can, you can open with Google uh, Earth. And if you open it with Google Earth, it'll show you all the uh, points that it's decoded. And so that's the uh, basically install of GNS SDR on the Mac High Sierra.